from the Nestorian Church in the Tang Dynasty, Erkoiner Archaeum in the Yuan Dynasty, to Catholicism in the late Ming and early Qing Dynasties, spanning over a thousand years, time and time again, knocking, opening, and closing doors, over and over again, sowing, sprouting, and removing seeds, all the longing, hoping, and disappointing moments, none of it was in vain. All of it represents God's grace. Through their self-sacrificing devotion to China, we see God's unconditional love for the Chinese people. From each successive wave of attempts, we see God's determination to be with the Chinese people. Through each success and failure, we see God meticulously mapping out a path to the gospel, one completely tailored for the Chinese people. In 1807, 100 years after the Chinese rights controversy between the Holy Say and the Qing government, Robert Morrison, Hudson Taylor, and many other missionaries, through blood and tears, sowed the seeds of the gospel at the lowest levels of Chinese society. This time, the door to China's soul was opened. It was never closed again. Yeah.